Uh, welcome everyone to our fifth session um, where we'll explore the fascinating intersection of uh, technology and art as we delve into non-fungible tokens uh, popular as NFTs and the influence of artificial intelligence AI uh, on this front. So let me share my screen and start our session today. Uh, in the first part, let's um, get some understanding of what NFTs are. Uh, we actually need to comprehend the world of NFTs. Uh, if I want to give you a simple uh, input on NFTs, uh, I would say they are unique, uh, non-interchangeable units of uh, data which are uh, stored on a blockchain. And uh, the, these tokens validate digital ownership of assets. And these assets can be anything from uh, digital art and uh, uh, virtual real estate to even music files. Uh, there is a very famous uh, website uh, called OpenSea. And uh, of course, there's a second famous one, which is called uh, Crypto Art. Uh, they uh, show um, uh, you know a lot of information. They uh, give you a lot of information about NFTs if you want to explore into. Just let me take you there, and you would see. how these websites are actually um, helping us to understand um, the world of NFT. So in OpenSea, you can see uh, somehow a, a very big marketplace for every user in cryptocurrency to just um, log in, sign in, and uh, um, just leave his uh, or her art here uh, with the um, desired price to sell. So the buyers come to these websites and they try to, uh, based on their um, taste actually in, in different types of arts, maybe it could be a digitalized art or it could be uh, the, uh, the photo, even uh, you know, something from the photography, and um, or it could be as I said, you know, even music files. They choose and buy. So that was OpenSea, and this is crypto art, somehow the same, but not as famous as the first one, but with a different uh, uh, theme of work. So uh, both these sites and of course uh, thousand other sites are there out you can just see and you can find more information about um the uh nfts so for example in this website you can just uh, see the latest version of nfts which have been put for sale here or you can uh, go through the artist if you know a popular artist you can just go through them and uh, see uh, usually they are the, the artists are ranked here based on the amount of art they have sold. For example, here, Hawk has sold something like $289 million of NFTs. And uh, one, one of his uh, highest sell has been $26 million. So, uh, and I think his average sell, guys, is $4,000. So he, does, he keeps selling. And how many? Uh, artwork he has sold, 66,000 artwork. So this is a very 
big opportunity and a very big world uh, for the ones who are into cryptocurrency and they like to actually um, use this um, important um, part of cryptocurrency in their uh, life and in their cryptocurrency life. So, Um, now, let's see how AI and art can integrate, actually. So AI has been um, influential in the art sphere, you know, leading to the uh, creation of um, AI-assisted and AI-generated art. Uh, we have seen the rise of projects like um, Art Reader, where users can merge images to create unit artwork. So just by merging them. Or some uh, projects like Deep Art, which transforms your photos into art using an AI algorithm, mimicking styles of uh, iconic artists. Uh, these um, websites, now I, I try to open them here as well. So let me just see if I can yeah, show you here. Art Breeder, guys, here you can just merge photos. And as you see as an example here, very interesting one. And then you would see that a girl holding a tiger cube. You know, Cup is going to just show that, you know, how it is going to merge two photos into a single idea. So. Uh, this is one of the examples, very fascinating, using AI, generating unique art, which uh, is just out of any kind of um, copyright issue for you. And a deep art, unfortunately, it's under construction. I tried to open, but it didn't work. So um, Now let's see how AI and NFT you know, can be a perfect uh, match. Uh, we usually look at the, this, this part you know, uh, the, in the ways that in which AI and NFTs can intersect. For example, uh, we can ask this question, can AI generated art be created as NFTs? And what could be the impact on the art market when it's, it is a case? So uh, so if uh, we want to just uh, pick up one of the uh, example website, you know, one project which is diving into this concept is uh, Artblock. Uh, let me just open Artblock for you. Um, in, in art blog, uh, usually it features uh, artists using AI and other generative techniques to generate unique art pieces that are um, then minted as NFTs. Um, additionally, an AI generated um, an artwork, which is, uh, I, I remember, you know, it was named uh, Portrait of Edmund de Bellamy, created by an obvious arts algorithm, was auctioned by uh, Christie's for 432,500 dollars. And it exemplifies the high potential of such uh, synergism in the, uh, the crypto world and actually at the same time in the um, art world. So, AI is not actually here to uh, replace the artist. It's going to assist artists in uh, some cases. However, we are going to talk about the potential and the problems with AI at the same time. So, uh, as I said, you know there are opportunities and challenges when it comes to the intersection of AI and NFTs. Uh, as we 
Okay. Dive deeper, we understand the opportunities and challenges uh, in this sector. Uh, the inter, inter uh, here we say that the integration of AI and uh, NFTs can democratize art uh, accessibility, allowing anyone to create and sell a digital art. Um, however, questions around creativity, originality, copyright concerns, and even the devaluation of uh, human-generated art will need to be carefully addressed. And uh, in, in the closing part, you know, I invite you uh, to discuss on these topics and uh, I welcome all thoughts on how AI and uh, NFTs could potentially reshape the realm of a digital art for your uh, homework. For example, you can explore some uh, AI powered um, uh, art platforms and NFT marketplaces. Just type it in Google and you would see a lot of these uh, types of platforms emerging and emerged out there. So uh, please join us for our next session uh, where we will examine real world examples in uh, case studies and to show how current platforms utilize AI, uh, which is going to be presented in two parts, next session and the session after that. So I will talk to you again uh, next time.